Hello everybody and welcome, I'm Eustace Farmer and I've got a nice mod mashup for you today, five mods. One of the mods in particular uh, was actually featured by a good friend of mine, Mr. Mark DuPont, and he did such a fantastic job with it. What I'm going to do is, after I show you uh, some of the things that I have found with the mod, I'm going to point you over to his channel to watch the whole review in detail and get the link to download the mod for yourself over there. The other four mods we're going to go over in better detail, and we're going to do it quickly for you because I know you're busy and I don't want to take up too much of your time. So let's go ahead and get started right after this. Warning, warning, Eustace Farmer has initiated gaming simulation sequence. Prepare to have fun. Alrighty, so as you may have guessed, the first one on our list is this manure pit. It looks quite benign, but if you've watched my Dusty Cove series, you'll notice that this is actually a shop where you can purchase manure. Why would you want to purchase manure? Well, some people don't like to have animals on their farm. It's just not their thing, but you still want the benefits of fertilizing your fields with manure because it is significantly significantly cheaper than the chemical fertilizers. So here, like in real life, you can go and put this down at a sale point to make it more real, and you can go down and purchase your manure. So you're going to find it in placeables. And there it is, $8,500. Nothing really much more to say about it. You press R when you back up to fill up your trailer or your implement, and then here in the front loaders, you're going to see uh, various implements designated with the Manure Shop tool, and that's a separate download which will be included in the description. Same thing in the telehandler. Gives you a few um, implements to use. You got the manure forks and the bucket. Just like in the wheel loader here, you got the bucket. So the mod is compatible with the in-game manure spreaders, as you see here, and it does take some modded as well, but it's hit or miss with that. But as you see here, all the tippers and trailers that are included in the game also work very well with this particular mod, right up to the big old crop bandit. So you can have as much manure as you can possibly want. And as I said before, these particular mods I have in my folder, they do not work, but I do have some that do. The Zill Pack, for instance, this particular pack of mods does work with the manure mod as well as the uh, Ursus manure spreader and that one's kind of sort of a mod but not I mean it's converted from 2015 so if you like the Ursus there you go you can use it with this pack now with this Zill dumper and dolly trailer it's got a unique feature as you see here when you back it up it acts like a normal dolly trailer it's going to go crazy and annoy you but if you line it up straight and if you're not straight it's going to tell you align the trailer and I'm hanging off the curb, so I gotta pull forward a little bit and tweak it a little bit here. And then you're gonna press Y on your keyboard. Y is in Yale. And now it acts like a standard fixed axle tipper. And it won't swing. Fill it up. There you go. Now, as far as the AR pack goes in this particular mod group, this has a little bit of wonkiness to it. <laughs> and allow me to explain what I'm talking about here. So here is the truck that you'll need to hook up the two AR implements. That's $17,500, and I can't read what that says down there. But here's the two units here. And there's also a whole host of other implements. Oh, whole host. No, whole host of other implements in this pack that are just fantastic. But these two here, there, there's a little something funny going on with those. And that's why I featured this, just to point this out. But as you see here, this is just like the Tilt-A-Whirl or the teacup right at the carnival. You can strap the kids on the back of that and take them around and have a lot of fun. <laughs> but just make sure they don't eat first. So there you go. So other than that, the pack is fantastic. Please do check out Mark DuPont's channel. Don't get mad at me for sending you over there because this guy, he's funny and he's very intelligent at the same time. And I think once you see this video 
you're going to be hooked. You're going to hit that subscribe in, uh, button and the alert bell, and you're going to want to stick around for the long haul because all of his videos are very creative and fun to watch. And hey, I mean, the guy looks like Santa Claus masquerading as Jimmy Buffett. So how bad can he be? <laughs> Go check him out. <coughs> yes, this does have smoke particles. The John Deere 524K wheel loader. Absolutely fantastic mod. Has great sounds. It's got a nice, modern, clean design inside and out. It does come with a bucket, and I'll show you in the store, but I use my, my own bucket. This one is the, uh, the fill trigger for the manure shop bucket um, because it just has a larger capacity. The bucket that comes with this is uh, quite small, I think, and I did cut that out because I hit the tree. <laughs> you caught me. So you just drive up to the manure pit, press R, and it's going to go ahead and it's going to fill it up with that wonderful manure glory. Manure for everyone. Yay. And as you see here, even though this bucket has a much larger capacity than was provided with the mod, um, it doesn't tip forward. I mean, you can work at it a little bit and get it to do it, but for the most part it won't. And the nice thing about this is you can load up a storage shed with manure now, even if you don't have a compatible shovel, or dump it into a trailer that's not compatible with the manure shop, and still benefit from it. So I combined the two categories together just in an attempt to be more efficient for you. The bucket specs are on the bottom, the wheel loader is on the top. So $200 a day maintenance, 146 horsepower, 242 liters of fuel it accepts, top speed is 26 miles an hour for the wheel loader, and the bucket takes absolutely everything including some modded fruits and products, and it has a very modest capacity of 5,005 liters. And it's no color choice. It is what you see here. It's that matching yellow. And we got the Kaweco tipper trailer up next here. All right, so the Kaweco Pullbox 8000H, it's $49,000, $25 a day maintenance, a capacity of 40,900 liters, and it takes everything and anything, and like I said, it is compatible with the Manure Shop mod. So your tire choices are standard, wide, and the default chevron pattern. The body of the tipper offers two color choices of orange and green, and for the rims you have silver, red, orange, and green. And here's what that looks like in both color choices. And filling up at our manure shop. And our fourth mod for the day, the Crone Big Pack 120-80. Not sure why they call it a pack, it's just one mod in here, the baler. But it's got some really nice details. It's got these nice chains that hold the extra long roller table in the back here. And uh, the textures are just fantastic. You can get as close as you like and you won't see a flaw. It's just your basic baler. So it doesn't really have any extraordinary functions, but it's a nice change from the usual. It works just like is expected. Bales up grass, straw, and hay. Go ahead and eject these out here. And then the nice thing is if you have tight storage or a shallow you know, storage shed, the long roller tray rolls in on itself and folds up nice and compact. So here it is in the store, the Big Pack 120-80 for $12,000. It's $100 a day maintenance. It requires 85 kilowatts or 115 horsepower, 4,000 liter capacity because bales are 4,000 units each. Top speed is 12 miles an hour when it's in full operation. And again, it takes grass, straw, and hay. So while we're here in the shop, let's have a look at our last mod for the day, the Crone Ultima CF-155XC. It comes in at $145,000, $250 a day maintenance, 92 kilowatts slash 125 required horsepower, 6,500 is the capacity, 12 mile an hour top speed at full operation, and it takes grass, straw, and hay. At the time of purchase, you can choose whether you want to have this refill automatically or manually. If you choose the manual refill option, then you're going to need to come into the pallet section of the shop and you're going to purchase the uh, netting pallet and the foils pallet. So your netting is going to run you $500 for a pallet of $1,000 and then the foils for a pallet of $1,000 is going to hit you $1,200. So you're going to walk right up to the chrome baler and push B to get into the door. And this is on the passenger side. And then you can open this door by pressing B as well. 
and you're going to see also that there is lighting inside each of the door covers so you can load up your foils here during the early morning hours and press B again to open the doors on the other side and this one in the front this is where your netting is going to go you just press X to put it in you press X to pick it up off the pallet and then when the roll up here runs out you'll have to manually put one of the nettings in place so here's the wrapping feature on this one and as you see it nets it first and then it wraps it now I have the manual drop so I can put it where I want it and you're gonna hear an audible alarm telling you you have to drop the baler off just press the letter M as in Mary and away you go and then here is the automatic drop off and there are no errors in this mod or any mod that I have shown here today so the Crone Ultima gives you the freedom to choose between three different bale sizes for either net or wrapped bales. For those that are new to the game, you look in your F1 menu in the top left corner of your screen and you'll see the letter K button and that's how you toggle the different sizes. So you'll see it says set bale to 1.3, hit the K, it'll say set bale to 1.4, toggle the K again, set bale size to 1.5. There's also all the other controls that the Crone Ultima Baler does right up in this menu, uh, such as wrap bales. If you don't want to have the wrapping on and you want to just do netting, just hit the J key. That's the toggle key. Um, change the drop mode from manual to auto or vice versa. You're going to hit the N as in Nancy key. So if there's any features that I have missed, just refer to that F1 menu and they'll be there. So if you're one that likes to use the automatic uh, bale pickup trailers that are in-game, the only bale out of this whole lineup that is compatible is the one all the way to the right, which is the 1.3. The other three bales are not compatible, and it will not pick them up. So you have two alternatives. You can load the bales manually on any bale trailer, or you can select a modded trailer that has the ability to switch between the various bale sizes. There's several of them out there, but the Joskin Wago Bale Trailer is my go-to trailer. It comes in a pack. I will leave a link down in the description for that as well. It's on the Giants Mod Hub by Black Sheep Modding. And it will take all sizes of these bales and it will do them in a mix, if you like. So if you have wrapped and netted bales on the field, as long as they are the same size, it will take them. You can't mix different sizes. So again, it doesn't matter if they're wrapped or netted, as long as they're either 1.3, 1.4, or 1.5, you have to have like bales on the trailers. And the last tip I want to share with you is, above your little vehicle HUD, down in the right corner of your screen, the Crone Ultima Baler adds their own little HUD. And that's going to give you your bale counts. It's going to tell you what's going on in the chamber, how full it is, how long before that bale is ready to be uh, put on the wrapping table, so forth and so on. If that gets in your way for some reason and you would like to take that off your screen, you can toggle that on and off by hitting keypad zero. Not the zero in your number row, but on your keypad, just hit it to turn it on and off. So I think that wraps it all up, folks. I hope I didn't keep you too long. I know it was a lot of information to go over, but I hope I got it to you in an acceptable time. Please let me know what you think down in the comments section. And again, links will be in the description for everything. I hope you enjoyed. So until we meet again, my friends, please take great care of yourself, okay? And bye-bye for now. to fade away.